Hello, welcome to Python for Academics. In this video, we're going to import row labels from an external file and use list comprehensions to generate a LaTeX table with the specified uh, row labels. So the file that we'll, we're going to use in this exercise is called variable names. It stores uh, different chemical compounds and we're going to create a LaTeX table where every row starts with this, uh, with the name of that chemical uh, compound, nicely formatted into a chemical formula. So this is what we would like to accomplish in LaTeX, is to generate a table that uh, has got uh, rows with these appropriate uh, labels. And in order to do that, we need to generate this following uh, text code, which is very similar to to the code that we needed to generate in the previous exercise. Um, and we're going to wrap every uh, variable with the ch uh, command, which comes from the packet, this package chem formula. <clears throat> this is going to nicely format uh, these chemical compounds into, into a chemical formula for uh, LaTeX. So in order to import this variable names file, we're going to use a pandas package. So I'm going to import pandas and uh, we're going to create uh, this variable names uh, list, uh, which is going to be imported by pandas. Uh, so there is this uh, function in the pandas package called read CSB where we can uh, input the name of the uh, file that we that we would like to read and we also have to specify that the file does not have uh, any headers in our case uh, otherwise the first row in the file is interpreted as a header which is not the case uh, here and now I'm going to uh, convert uh, that into a numpy just a regular numpy array <clears throat> and I'm going to flatten that array so that is what the, that it is one dimensional. And I'm also going to convert all of that into a list just so that uh, this example is similar to what we had before. So we started with the list of all of these chemical uh, compounds. And now uh, the code, uh, the list comprehension code is going to be very similar to what we did in the previous exercise. So I'm going to copy that. Um, and we're going to have to modify uh, what is being printed around this variable uh, name. So, so to the uh, left of the variable name, we're going to have to print this backslash ch uh, command and the curly bracket. And to the right, we're going to uh, print the curly bracket. So if I go ahead and print this, then we almost have uh, what we wanted to obtain. Now I'm going to add just one more layer of complexity to this exercise. And let's say that we only want to print those chemical uh, compounds that do not contain uh, the nitrogen atom. Uh, so we can do that by creating an extra if uh, statement uh, in this list comprehension. So we can, for example, do that by saying that only print uh, the variable names if n uh, is not in uh, variable names. So if I print this, then you can see that all of the compounds that do contain nitrogen have disappeared from this list. And I'm also going to uh, add a one more uh, complexity. So we don't want to print this argon uh, at the end. And I can do that just by adding one extra conditions, condition to this um, if statement. So I'm going to write a variable names is not equal to argon. And you can see that now uh, we do not have argon in our list. Uh, so I can go ahead and copy that text code paste it into my LaTeX file. If I now compile this, then I get exactly what we wanted to obtain. 